All right, so this is going to be Leo Sun, Moon, and as well, uh, rising weekly general tarot reading for January 20th to 26th. 2020 and in case guys you are interested into a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below of, uh, of this video and there you're gonna find a link to my website another thing for those who are following me for a long time um, as you know I'm reading in spreads but this time around I decided to experiment a little bit something different guys I'm going to read this time in string which means I'm gonna draw seven cards no particular positions whatever they show they show uh, so <clears throat> that being said, let's move uh, to the reading uh, directly here. Now, the first card for you, uh, Leo, that is to be the Ace of Cups. Obviously, very, very positive card, guys. The, the, the Ace of Cups is all about love. It, it is really what it is all about. But not only the romantic love, it is what the Ace of Cups focus on. This is the love for life itself. So in that particular context, the Ace of Cups points that this week will transcend your daily reality into something very, very happy. It is highly likely that you can find the love of your life, for example. It is highly likely that certain problems you are facing are going to simply either vanish or lose completely relevance to you. They will no longer be a part of your life. And uh, in general, the Ace of Cups is associated with... Um, very positive change of direction, all right? It's not like changing of one's life, but it is more like changing a, a direction into one's life that once again um, gives you a lot of content that you're gonna look forward to. It gives you a lot of hope as well. And like said, it transcends your reality into a very, very happy existence with uh, with this card. But as it is a cup, ca cup card, once again, you can't expect to fall in love in someone or in something as well. The very least I can say that you are gonna love how things are gonna turn out for you. Uh, next one here is going to be the Ten of Wands. Now this thing has its consequences. Of course, the Ten of Wands uh, here speaks that there are gonna be many things moving around and you have to attend to a lot of uh, yeah, enterprises, let's say it that way. So uh, throughout the week, you're gonna feel like you're in some sort of a, uh, a, a current, let's say it that way. So you are going to be in a current and you will have to fulfill certain criterias here and there, criterias to your new lover, criterias to your new job, cr criteria to your new position, for example, and etc etc but additionally to that the ten of wands is also a confirmation that what is going to happen to you it's just awesome because the ten of wands it is the card of power i mean if you look at the guy he's it's, you can say struggling but he is opting it is the way I see it here, to control all that power given to him. So whatever happens to you, first thing is you're gonna love it. Second thing, it will give you power, all right? But that power comes with its consequences. Like said, and you can you can also hear it into the movie, the great power comes with great responsibility. Well, there you go, you have it here. Now, <clears throat> important thing with the Ten of Wands, however, is to uh, recognize when one thing is done and not trying to push it any further. Uh, that is because pushing it is only going to create kind of like a very nervous and, 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 and hectic and merely pointless um, performance, I would say, from, uh, from now on. So whenever something is done, it's just done, guys, and move into the next thing afterward. Now, the next one here that we do have, it is the Page of uh, Pentacles. And if this is about love, there is no doubt with the Page of Pentacles that you already know the person, most likely a, a good friend of yours that is simply kind of trying to hide its feeling and emotions. Why? It is because the Page of Pentacles, it's, it's a person uh, and the role they play, it is that they have have a big devotion to you. I mean, they're devo they have devoted maybe their entire life into you at that particular point. And when you connected it with the Ace of Cups, which is related to love, well, obviously they kind of feel that they have a huge commitment to you or they are ready to jump into a huge commitment 
towards you. But once again, you have to attend into this matter with the full responsibility that this is also a person, they also bear a soul, they feel, and you should not kind of like, although you're going to be from a standpoint or from a position of a power here, you should not abuse that power over the page of pentacles now on the flip side page of pentacles is a personality very slow people i mean and and kind of unexperienced as well so that could irritate you a little bit and aggravate you uh you know it is because they will they will struggle making up their mind they will struggle as well giving you a definitive answers they will struggle as well setting up for example dates or setting up a business meetings in these kinds of stuff so they're kind of like inexperienced yeah I, I can give them that but also once again don't forget that they are quite devoted to you and to your agenda as well um usually slow kind of uh they are quite slow slow to catch up as well. Now, the fourth card that we do have for you is going to be the Seven of Wands, and that here a bit catches up a different subject, all right? So, Seven of Wands, uh, just in general, as we said, that that is going to be completely general, because this is what you asked for at the end of the day, guys, as I was trying to focus more the readings, either career or either relationship, you wanted them general, so this is just as general as it can be, all right? So, uh, Seven of Cups points that this week you are protected from making wrong moves. Not that you won't be able to make a wrong move, but as soon as you do so, you are going to be severely disappointed, but not before the line uh, or the point of no return. Therefore, whenever you kind of like feel uh, excruciating disappointment within you about the thing you do or about a decision you made, you can definitely go back and fix or undo your work or fix the decision that you have made. But above everything else with the Seven of Cups as well, it is that you have to take it that way. The Seven of Cups expresses the um, mother's dream for her children and are those dreams fantasies or are they seeds growing? Well, it's yet remains to be knowing. So even though you may face certain disappointments with this guy or with that girl, you know, or with this endeavor or with that enterprise, that should not be a prerequisite for you, um, Leo, to completely forfeit the idea and it just, you know, keep it in the back of your head. Maybe in the future you will have the necessary means in order to establish and execute it. All right, so fifth one is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the best aces, by the way. These are the aces that I love the most. It is because the Ace of Pentacles contributes to the Ace of Cups so much and it kind of gives additional meaning to it here. It points that this is what is going to be, uh, what is going to create the love into your life. It's either going to be a harmoniously flow into one relationship. It's really good uh, compatibility here that we do have, either or either a, a very successful business maneuver, a new job that is going to be successful, find a, a, a project that is going to give you a lot of money, and etc, etc. So in other words here, Ace of Pentacles tells that this is the week where you're going to have your opportunity to further your goal. And once again, this is about furthering your goal. It is not about accomplishing your goal. And that is actually a good thing. Why, you would, you would may ask? Well, it is because your goal... Um, how can I say it? I mean, the goal that you have established it is just in the middle of a certain road. Road. Therefore, you can surpass it. You can even expand it. You can sprawl it, if you will. You can achieve more, and there is nothing better than that. Okay. And if I have to give you an example of it, say you want to be with someone and you are just pleased to be in just a relationship with that person, all right? And that means that that doesn't have to end into one relationship. It could go into family. You can have children or, you know, and, and et cetera, et cetera. So whatever you hope to achieve, it will be bigger than that. In time, though, not in this week, in time. But that week, it is the week where you get the opportunity to further that goal. How soon you're going to reach your goal? Well, that depends individually on the goal of how much you, you are devoted into it. You know, are you going to give it a chance, if you will? Because if that's a, a friend that wants to be with you, but 
you don't want to break a friendship obviously there is no chance for manifestation here uh, although these cards are asking you to give the man or the woman a chance well it's again it's always up to you uh, you gotta know that one reading it is never and i want to stress this one out it is never never meant to make a decision for you it can guide you to the decision it can tell you the pros and the cons of certain decisions but it is never meant to take a decision for you okay so uh yeah that was about the fifth card here and now we move to the sixth one one second uh sixth one is going to be the eight of wands and things are getting even better with the eight of wands eight of wands is the card of speed why people say that it is because the eight of wands points that numerous opportunities comes into one way however eight of wands is also high risk high reward kind of card meaning that it's kind of like things are to happen many of those opportunities are to happen by a, a long shot and the closer the shot is the better the opportunity is or the more secure the opportunity is so whatever uh, an opportunity or an enterprise comes to you for throughout this week here leo if it is by a long shot it is highly advisable not to take it because there is a lot to risk in it and definitely you don't want to risk those uh, harmoniously flowing relationships or your business success you know or in generally the love that you're going to experience whatever once again whatever happens you're gonna love it all right and those um activities here rather or those opportunities they are peripheral things they are not related to the grand scheme of things all right they're just a peripheral stuff that um, may jeopardize the main um, the main narrative here of the reading so don't so should i not confuse you let's let's give you an example here say you finally can be in a relationship with the woman you want or with the man you want it doesn't matter and uh let's say that happens tuesday thursday evening a a friend comes around in town and tells you let's go and hang out okay but in the same time you have something scheduled with your newly found relationship and this is one opportunity by a long shot going there with this friend of yours completely disregarding your newly found boyfriend or a girlfriend whatever undermining the trust and most above everything else the reliability you have with them jeopardizing your relationship in day two so you don't want that all right so stick with the main road don't deviate for a things that are not proven are going to give you any benefits whatsoever and uh, the last one the last one here that is to be uh, the tree of swords so Tree of Swords is related uh, very often about the truth of the past, okay? Uh, what I mean here it is that there are to be throughout the week certain, um, how can I say it, um, certain doubts you're going to have. A truth be told, looking as a, a follow-up card here, probably you are going to start thinking, well, man, this is way too good to be true, all right? And therefore filling up things or your mind with negative thoughts and this is exactly what tree of swords is all about here allowing those negative thoughts to twist and tangle through your mind you will become suspicious which you don't want to you are going to become lost as well not knowing what to do and how to proceed from now on it's because you're going to be tr you're going to try to be extra careful taking no risk whatsoever and making the things as secure as possible we all know that you can never do something as secure as possible it can never be a hundred percent bulletproof so at some point you have to just draw the line and giving yourself or kind of succumbing uh, succumbing to those um, negative thoughts of things of uh, that things may ruin that, that things may not happen and that petrifying you um, obstructing you of making any further actions towards your goal it is just going to deprive you of your goal so yeah it is likely throughout the week do your own insecurity to feel that you are with your back against the wall that you do have a lot to lose right but don't be afraid uh, it's just kind of like try to muffle or how can i say it suppress those thoughts and just enjoy of the reality which reality is going to be transcended into something lovely and with the potential to grow just as we said because this is going to be your opportunity once again to further your goal with someone that you already know a friend of yours most likely that is devoted to you leo it's just they, they the only thing they see around them is you all right 
So that being said, uh, this was your general weekly tarot reading, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. Once again, it's kind of an experiment. I seldom do readings that way. I don't believe that that is the way how you should do readings is because doing without reading without spread is like trying to uh, make an astrology without a chart. And we all know that that can't happen. So yeah, um, let me know in the, in, in the comments down below how do you find it. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.